this idea, and I want to make sure I get this right. So forgive me if I mispronounce it. Resentiment is that the right way of pronouncing that word? I think they say ressentiment. Uh, ressentiment. Oh, ressentiment. Well, but I was never what do I know about right. French? So, <laughs> so ressentiment. Well, you do. You do. You got all the pronunciations better than I do. So mine's like, hey, how y'all doing? That's how mine's going to be. So, so what is this idea of ressentiment, and why? <laughs> what is it, and why is it important for us today? Yeah, let me take a running start at it, um, because what you said at first there prompted a thought. We have to be honest. We have to be forthright. Here in the Midwest, there's this, this value we sometimes call Midwest nice, where it's people struggle to be real about their concerns, right? When, when I was um, in Bible college, I would go home to do ministry in New York, and my pastor said, look, if the Lord calls you back here, um, you never have to worry about someone stabbing you in the back. They'll stab you in the chest, and they'll tell you off as they do it. And then he said, and it's kind of refreshing because at least you know where people stand. Well, there's sometimes here in Chicago land, I'd like a little more of that. Um, so we need to be forthright. Jesus was angry with the Pharisees. He overturned the tables in the temple. He went toe to toe with the Pharisees, called them whitewashed tombs. And Paul um, exhorts us to be angry. That's an imperative. Be angry. Do not sin. So just want to make that qualifier that the these are their issues that really matter their life and death and we need to care deeply about them okay the problem though is when we become bitter when canceling others and outrage is the normal mode of operation and that brings us to the ressentiment idea i think what drives that very often is a resentment the reason why i introduced that word and i i rely on the work of james davison hunter Who's, who's written helpfully on it, is because it's more than just resentment, in, as we understand it in English. It's also violence. It's a, a desire to take revenge. You know, it's more extreme. And I think what happens is you see this person with whom you disagree as the enemy, and then you increasingly look at them through this lens that villainizes them, and they have to be eliminated. And I think that's the direction of society, right? I mean, it, no longer is it just pulling the the pin on the rhetorical hand grenade and lobbing it over the fence. Now, there's real conflict in the public square in some places, and and Lord help us as we approach this next election year. So mm. that's the problem, and I'm suggesting in the book that meekness is the solution to that problem. 